What's up everyone, it's Anthony with Acru Gaming. We're gonna hang out a little bit in Satisfactory tonight. Uh, I do wanna do some exploring on here. Um, I'm kinda over by the oil still, I believe. I don't even have any of that hooked up yet, but um, it's kind of intriguing to me that there's still another oil thing 2,000 meters away in this game, so. Um, getting everything all hooked up better. My live stream last night was a disaster. Um, but, uh, I think we're getting it all fixed tomorrow. We've got internet improvements coming. So, um, got the green screen fixed a little better tonight. I was actually wearing a green shirt and I was like, oh, this is not going to work. I sat down and you couldn't see any of my torso. So I was like, rather than being like a floating head in here, I'll, uh, I'll actually go change. So, but everything looks like it's good. Mike's good. Um, played a little bit of Fortnite last night today tried to do it on live stream but like i said it, it crashed due to my wi-fi so um it's uh, a work in progress <laughs> i don't know how long this thing's going to be a work in progress i think forever i think there's always going to be something going on with it but hopefully we'll be able to get uh, a few of the easy stuff easy things fixed so yep we're still over in the oil area um this is all kind of at a standstill. I've got the conveyor run all the way back to my main plant now. Um, but if you look here, I thought this was the furthest away point, but there is, I know there's some stuff over there. oil 1600 meters away and I know there's one over there but I didn't know this thing was this big I did drive around a little bit over there um, and this place is massive so we'll go drive around I've got some beacons I only have three that eh, should be enough we'll go mark where that oil is at um, I did mark this base because I guess I could just leave one of the tractors here and pick up this other beacon in case we find something. And we'll leave it. We'll leave it there. Let me double check my settings here. Nice. Now let's go grab one of these guys. I think I've got one that's empty. Need some fuel in it, some backup fuel. And then I've got fuel, I've got food, I've got beacons, I've got my rebar gun, which I will show you is very, very helpful. Jump in here. Let's go driving. So I did kind of learn how to use the rebar gun a little bit more. It is very, very good on the um, the animals that spit at you, <laughs> those creatures that spit at you. Uh, not so good on the little armadillo guys because they uh, you can kind of get them from a distance, but it's better just to jump and use the use the wand on them. Let's go cruising here. There's a lot of slugs, or there was a lot of slugs around here that I gathered up. Um, I don't know how... I probably should have built the truck and used it. I think it's a little bit faster. But this will work. And most of the creatures do leave you alone when you're in the... Oh, there's a slug right over there. Let's go get it. Uh, maybe. Unless there's those flower things with the bees. I really hate those. Where was it? Right there. 
I don't see any creatures around. So can we climb up this stuff? Oh, we have to chainsaw this stuff down and then build a ramp up there. Ah, it's a green one. Looks like a yellow one. That's alright. These guys down. I did bring concrete with me just because for situations just like that. Um, or if you get stuck somewhere. I did have to, um, when I drove these over, I was trying to drive past my other tractor and ran into it and pushed it off the edge into the water. And you can't, uh, you can't recover them. When they're in the water and the inventory thing was completely full so i had to kind of build underneath it and uh and get get it picked up it was kind of it was crazy i had to drive it out of there but i got it able to rescue it but you'll see how big this map is I mean this thing is if there's like I said another 1600 meters uh, I think from my plant to this oil node was 2000 so I mean you saw how long that took or how big that that long how long that road is so there's a whole nother section that big in between here and that that other node so Let's see if we can find a way up here. So we've got to get up there, I imagine. But I can't, uh, I don't have a good enough winch to pull it up the cliff, so. Got to find a path here. Um, the other direction from the oil right there, there is like three coal, pure coal nodes. Um, and then some, I wonder if I have to get up there. Let's see if this goes. Um, a couple copper, some iron deposits. There was, a, there was some slugs. Oh man, I hate these things. Do they attack? Oh, they do. Stay away. And I have the I have the gun out and not the. I just run them over. Or did they mess up the truck? Oh, those things are so nasty. Those are the little spider guys that I was telling you about. And they're disgusting. Oh, they're like relentless too. They're still, oh, you can hear them chasing me. If they're hurting the truck, we're gonna have to get out and hurry and change the, uh, or hurting the tractor. Plop out to the wand. Still chasing us. <laughs> oh my gosh, what did they just do? What just happened? <laughs> that was insane. Was that because of one of the little spider guys? All right. 
We're just gonna have to take care of them, I think. Where'd they go? Oh, these things are creepy. There it is. Where'd he go? There he is. Ugh, nasty. Nasty little creatures. Where did the, um, whoever created those in this game, you have some issues. <laughs> those things are creepy. I don't even like, I'm not like scared of spiders. I don't like spiders. I would never have a spider as a pet. But those things, especially when they come in like packs, are horribly disgusting and kind of creepy. Where did that other one go? How about we just don't pick a fight with them? I have no idea why, like, is that normal? For it to just fling the the tractor like that or did we find some kind of bug i mean we did find a bug but you know what i mean <laughs> Ugh. nasty nasty i am definitely going to show my wife that part of the recording <laughs> Let's see here. Well, we'll know if I hit this like invisible wall again and it flings me that it wasn't because of the nasty spider guy. So all kinds of mycelia over here. Definitely not going to be lacking that to make fabric and stuff, so. So I guess I was wrong about the critters leaving you alone. The spider, oh, look it, there's a whole, is that a whole group of them up there? Man. And a stink pod thing. All right. So this adventure just turned a little bit crazy. Oh, there's one of those guys. Is there just one of them? These ones leave you alone. When you're in the truck. But those are the ones that... That's a big guy to you. Um, those are the ones that are the best to take out with uh, the rail gun. Or the rebar gun. Sorry, not the rail gun. Be awesome if we had a real gun in here. Let's see what's over here. I just gotta make my way up the mountain. This does not seem like it's a good way up. Seems like I'm going into a cave here. Now, if I go down there, I don't know if I can get back up. I'll have to build a ramp. I don't see any crazy stink things or anything, so we'll go over here. Might be able to get up right there. Those two coral tube looking things over there are... Oh, am I just right back where I was? I am. <laughs> I just did a complete loop. Alright. Well, that took me nowhere. That's how to get uh, get back to your base. Um, those coral tube looking things are full of mycelia. These things are. It seems like uh, everything in the game that they weren't sure what the name was for it, um, they just called it mycelia. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Put it in four low here. Nice. I'm saying I'm gonna have to call my brother that works for Warren Winches and get some uh, get some winches in this game. A 
I'm sure that winches would work in space, right? Alright, let's see if we can find a better way. We know that way is littered with nasty spider things. Oh, you can actually run these guys over. I don't think it hurts them. Because <laughs> I've tried to like run them over like 15 times in a row and they still survive, so. Um, we got some nasty stink flowers right here. Not sure why we're driving closer to them. This is where the spiders were. Uh oh. And we're gonna have to go back through there. Back up. We don't want to go up that way. We do want to go uphill, but not... I don't want to deal with four of those things. And a green cloud. Seems like it would be kind of a disaster, so... Let's avoid that. Alright, so we came up with this thing. It is kind of a maze to find your way around when you're exploring out here. Um, because there's no straight path to do anything. So it'll be nice. What I'll probably end up doing is the same thing. I'll go off of that, um, that sky bridge up there and make another sky bridge to the next oil area. So this is back down to the flats here. A lot of times it seems like if you can find that, just the dirt, that seems to be the best way up, like that's the best path. Oh, we're getting into some of these stink pod things. I wonder if I can run those over with the truck. Man, there's a ton of them right here. And another slug. Nice little wheelie there. Oh, I could ram, ram that little ledge there and make it up. Come on, you know you want to climb up there. I'm trying to see what that is above. The green slug there. Hopefully it's not a new nasty critter. Or spider webs or something crazy. What is that? This could be a very not smart idea. What is that thing? Is it just some kind of <laughs> plant? It looks like it's just some kind of plant down there. Ugh. Grab this guy and go. <laughs> I was hoping it wasn't some like big like monster spider or spider web or something. Alright. And there's another slug up there. There's a ton of slugs over here. Maybe our exploration just turned into a slug hunt. Um, I'm trying to find a path up though. I think I can get up this ledge, can I? Yes, I can. So that won't work. 
Yeah, this thing does pretty good. I wonder how well the uh, the truck is gonna do. Yeah, that's all pretty pretty good sized ledges that way. Do we try to run into one of these things? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh it's like hitting a tree. Some object you can't move. Thought maybe we could run it over, but no luck. Looks like we kind of have to go way back this way to go. It looks like this might be a good path to go way back the other way. There we go. You can kind of see that dirt right there. This always seems like it's the best pathway. Now we want to go as high as we can. Oh, I keep forgetting. Man, I'm almost out of oil. This uh, oil barrels don't last very long in this thing. The good thing, like all of this stuff, all the mycelia and stuff like that, it's all fuel. So you don't really have to worry about running out of fuel, especially when you have a craft bench on the back. You can uh, you can make the biofuel pretty easy once you get over here or anywhere for that matter. All right, let's see here. Hop out and see where that oil is. Oh, oh there's one of those big guys, big friendly guys. No, oh, my air tractors. Uh, is that gonna cancel my? Nope. So we want to go that way. We want to go to the top of that mountain over there. I don't even know if I'm going to get over there before we have to. Say goodnight. Might be a two part exploration. But you can see how big. I mean, maybe I'll do a live stream too. <laughs> this might be tomorrow's live stream. Um, there's another slug out there. Oh, there's a one. At least one of those spitting guys. So we'll hold off. Oh yeah, there's our there's our paths that we're looking for. So if you can find these, these are typically seem to be the uh, the pathways to take. Let's see. Let's go. Oh, another. That looks like an armad armadillo guy. We're gonna run out of fuel. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't run out of it by one of those guys. And they're not too bad, actually. Oh, if we run out by those two guys, that won't be good, though. Taking those things out is definitely easier when it's just one of them. And the, like I said, the rebar gun makes it really easy. Man. So I wonder what fuel works the best in these tractors, because barrels of oil, not good. Not good at all. I probably should have changed it into actual fuel. Because, yeah, we're about to run out here. Done. Done ski for the fuel here. Oh no. Seriously? Right by one of these things? Oh 
Hopefully that cloud doesn't reach over here. It's going to. No, why'd you put it over there? Over here. Go, go, go. Oh, see now? Oh yeah, there it is. Seems like I was close enough that it would have... I would have had some green spray coming after me, but I guess not. Alright, well, we'll drive up here. And like I said, I may have to cut it short here, but now we found our path up at least. And we're going in the right direction. We're aiming for that big mountain that we can't see anymore here. guys over there they're usually protecting something so typically like the road to the next area or um, resources could be any number of things but they're usually they're usually there for a reason nice so, alright, well we will stop it here and I'll park here, I won't move. Um, it looks like we're headed down into, hopefully not a valley of death. <laughs> um, but we, it looks like we're headed into the next little, next little biome here. So, um, like I said, hugely large area, hugely large map. If I can back up a little bit so this thing doesn't roll down the hill. But I want to be far enough away from those guys that they don't bug me either. So I have to be out of the vehicle here to switch screens. Um, but this, this map is way, way, way bigger than I thought it was. Um, which, good thing and a bad thing. There's also way more resources. Like, it doesn't seem like we're going to need this many resources. So there must be a lot of stuff planned. Um, but this game is the only thing I can think of, um, because like I said, with that copper, that's only like four, three or four sections of copper. I think it's three sections of copper and it's way more than enough to do anything <laughs> at all. Uh, so I'm kind of guessing there's way more planned <laughs> for, uh, for production and for this thing. I know there's trains. Somebody said something about trains coming. Uh, so uh, it's gonna, I think it's gonna be a lot bigger, but we'll uh, we'll see. We'll see what else there is to come. Um, for now, we'll cut this one here because uh, like I said, I wanna kinda, I wanna go find the soil uh, and see kind of the other areas and uh, see what it's gonna take to, to get this stuff back uh, it may be faster to go get the one that's over by, um, over by our actual main plant, but I wanted to go see this area. And that's the one we're after, still 12, 1,257 meters. These two seem like they're really close, but that's, that's the cliff right by the, right by my other oil plant. You can see them on the map there. So, uh, there's really no way to access that unless I jump off a cliff. So, we don't want to do that. But, again, appreciate everyone watching. Um, Appreciate you taking the time to, to come hang out. So we'll either do a live stream tomorrow night or um, another recording, going and finding the rest of the oil here, at least this other this other node, uh, and then we will um, we will kind of take it from that point. There's like I said, there's there's a ton here, uh, ton yet to come. So appreciate it. Have a good evening. Hit that uh, hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Hit the like on the on the on the video if you liked it. And then leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Have a good one. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And click the bell icon to get notified for every video my dad makes. Thank you for watching.